Township versus Lindsay Dineski. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Take your name for me again. Lindsay Dineski. Thank you. Today's the time set for the arraignment and pretrial on this matter. Ms. Dineski, the way the court staff have you labeled indicated you're waiving your right to have the assistance of the court appointed attorney. Is that correct, ma'am? Yeah, I'm studying to be a lawyer. I would not. That being the case, have you had the opportunity to speak to Ms. Manorino this morning? Yes. I think all charges should be dismissed because this is retaliatory action for asking for a child to be protected. Ms. Manorino, how are we proceeding this morning? Your Honor, based on my discussion with Ms. Dineski this morning, she is requesting to have the matter set for a jury trial. I'm actually requesting for dismissal, and she insisted that I either take a plea or go to trial, but I think that it should be dismissed because it's retaliatory and it's in violation of, my, of several of my rights, Michigan and federal rights, under the Constitution of both. Please, not guilty. Thank you. The recommendation from Van Baron Township, ma'am, is that they do not oppose personal bond. That was going to be the court's intent. Set your bond at 5000 personal. You do not need to post any money. What we must do is continue to appear as directed by the court until this case is resolved in its entirety. The arraignment having been completed, the next step is pretrial. You both already indicated that you had some conversation regarding pretrial. Which best you understand that you have a defense that you're working to present today. It's not the damn time to present that defense. If you want the matter scheduled for a jury, the court is happy to schedule the matter for a jury trial. In an interim, there's also a request that you have no contact with Charles. Nurse with, nurse with any of our SWICK, do you have any reason to be in contact and communication with that person? Yeah, we have children together, and he kidnapped one of our children, which yeah. is what I was actually calling the police about. And he has our child in danger, and they refuse to listen. And now she's gone. She's missing. So I will be counter-suing Romulus, or I mean, I guess it would be Sam Buren. And if the court proceeds with this, I will be also bringing a malicious prosecution against this court as well. Because these are erroneous charges, and they are retaliatory, which is a violation of my freedom of speech. It's a violation of my right to due process. So if this does not get dropped today and it moves forward, I will be filing under color of law lawsuit to Sam Buren and this court in federal court for a violation of rights under federal question jurisdiction. So I just don't think it would be a good um, use of the court's time or resources to continue this malicious prosecution. And I could quote case law, I could quote laws that Sam Buren police broke. Um, they completely ignored my evidence. If there was obstruction of justice. They said they there was uh, sexual discrimination against me because I was a woman. I have all the calls recorded. I mean, it would really be a waste of the court's time. The one who broke Ms. the law was the unparent now, not myself. Ms. Ms. Dineski, I, I said before, and I'm not sure if you heard me or understood, that today is, is the arraignment. Today is the yes, but I, I, I did ask for it to be dropped at the arraignment. I'm allowed to ask for the charges to be dropped because they're erroneous. So I should, my liberty should not be affected by erroneous charges. I should not have to keep showing up in court and have a bond. That's a violation of my liberty. This is malicious prosecution. Chuck has friends at the Van Buren Township. His father used to be the fire, uh, one of the high, like, he was like the assistant fire chief, so there's bias there. They refused to listen to me. Ms. Dineski, just so you're clear, this matter is being recorded and we're streaming live on YouTube. I always say that so that you may be mindful of the things that you say. Ms. Manorino, you were starting to say something. Yes, Your Honor, as it relates to bond, um, I understand that Mr. Nesky has an issue with the no contact. When I spoke with the complaining witness in this matter, um, he did indicate that um, he did not have an issue with Mr. Nesky having contact with him. As it relates to the two children, the two biological children they had in common, um, as it relates to any other matter, he would not like to have contact from her during the pendency of this matter. So, Mr. Nesky, I will ask you the question. kidnapped her legally under Michigan law. I am a parent and I have as much right to her. The court um, when gave him custody, used me as a deciding factor as to why he got custody of that child. So that actually just that particular statement shows that this is about him abusing myself and Haley and using the court to as a shield to keep a mother away from a child. And the fact that he took her away from me, she's not been away from me more than three days since the day I met her and he hasn't let me talk to her in two months. And that's extremely mentally damaging to her because she already has issues. Because when I met her, the, a bio mother had abused her and neglected her. And I had to work with her for five years to even get her to be able to be at the same level as somebody her age. And she was still behind due to the abuse. And now he tried to kill me. He said he was suicidal and then kidnapped her child. And then used Van Buren police to maliciously prosecute me when I tried to assert my rights to that child. And my right to protect that child. So the, again, the only people who have committed a crime here is the Van Buren police and Charles Nerswick. Ma'am, the court will impose a condition of bond if you have no contact with the complainant in this case, except as is necessary to make arrangements regarding biological children. 
I heard your request for a jury trial, but I've also listened to the comments that you just made, and I want to disclose to you that I am married to an elected official in Van Buren Township. He is not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the Public Safety Department, the issuing agency in this matter. But based on the comments that you made, ma'am, I'm not sure if you wish to have this case remain here with me, or if this matter should be adjourned to Judge Green's docket. She next takes the Van Buren Township document with a date available on April 20th for a pre-trial conference. How do you wish to proceed? Is that right? Like, I have proof that Chuck took this and tried to use it in a court to try to kidnap the biological children from me. And the court didn't grant that because it was, again, erroneous and the court talked through that. But he conspired with the Van Buren police to have these charges brought against me. And he perjured himself. The Van Buren police perjured themselves when they asked for this warrant. I was not given the information. I was not given the information as to what I did wrong. They kept that information from me. I was not properly served on this matter either. I mean, everything is completely improper in this entire case. Plus, it's erroneous and they're false charges. Ma'am, are you, are you requesting information from Ms. Manorino at this time? I mean, I called and asked for information back when I first got the letter, and nobody would give me anything. I called them. I left her messages, I think, at least twice. So, yeah, I would like to have mm -hmm. every single thing that they used to get an erroneous warrant on me. Ma'am, based on that, the court will make an indication in the, in the file that you requested discovery. Now that you request discovery, we'll put the matter over to Judge Green's docket. April 20th with Judge Green now. The court will now notice the address that we have on file in this matter. Anything else, Ms. Manorino? No, Your Honor, thank you. I do not consent to this, by the way. I do not consent to this um, interaction. I do not consent to these charges. I do not consent to any of it. It is erroneous, and I will be taking legal action against this court for not dropping the state.